Hello and welcome to this figure freedom video. Today we're going to be unboxing not one but two Terminator figures by NECA. So our first one from the first movie. It's the part, description on the front. In a year of darkness, 2029, the rulers of this planet devised the ultimate plan that would reshape the future by changing the past. The plan required something that felt no pity, no pain, no fear. Something unstoppable. They created the Terminator. There's the box. That's a little side view. Back artwork. It's absolutely amazing. Again on the side. And then the old window display with the figure inside. Now, I do like these window display boxes. I think they look absolutely amazing. Usually I'd keep them on display like this, but today we're going to unbox it. So, let's get this baby open. And here he is. Let's just have a look at the old face. And the detail on the jacket as well. Really, really nice. Absolutely amazing figure. Do love the Terminator figures by NECA. And we also get two extra heads. So you've got the long hair, Arnie, and the battle damage face. Let's pop that on now, I think. So, okay, real good look at that. Now we can also change his arm. Just pop that off. Sorry about that. And here we go. And there's his battle damaged arm. So I'm just going to focus a bit. Now it also comes with his shotgun. An Uzi and his laser sight pistol, which we can put, put that in his hand. Now we also get get two of the utensils that he uses for fixing his arm. So yeah, that's the first one. So it's absolutely, absolutely love this figure. Out. Can't wait for them to to release the Sarah Connor and John Connor double pack. It's gonna be an amazing figure. So now we'll unbox his buddy. This one has got to definitely be one of my favourite ones. And there he is. Let's get him to stand up a bit. So these ones I've got, I think the legs are not the best on this one. I mean, they are quite wobbly. I do find it sometimes with certain ones. The uh, joints aren't as stiff as what you'd like them to be. Nevertheless. So we also get his absolute beast of a gun. 
How's this go on him again? Right, the shoulder. Look at that. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Pop that in. If it goes in, what's he doing? So he is with his beast of a gun. And his backpack full of really ammunition. Slide that on his shoulder. I'll try and get him to stand up now. It's just thing is so awkward sometimes. Let's move him out of the way. So you only get real good look at him. Absolutely amazing figure. And we also get two other heads. So we've got the really damaged one. Focused. Sorry about my fingers. And also got the one with the, with the sunglasses, very cool dude looking one. Plus we get, I should say, so this is what, grenade launcher, detail on that. And another gun. You can never have too many guns, can you? Also, we get another gun on top of that. Which is a nice little pistol. So there he is. Ah, oh, put his buddy next to him. With all their accessories. So yeah. Definitely definitely love these. I I would suggest getting them if you're into your Terminator and your Necker. Um, but like I said, the only downside is, especially with a Terminator 2 figure, its legs are quite quite wobbly, quite loose, which does make it quite hard for him to stand at times. Um, it might just be the odd couple that are like it. Um, I've not had many like it. The main issues I've usually had are stiffer limbs, so when you try to loosen them up a bit, it's always best to use, rinse them under hot water and just loosen them up a bit, otherwise they do snap. But yeah, glad to have these in my collection and like I said, definitely looking forward to the Sarah Connor and John Connor double pack as I missed out on the Sarah Connor originally and didn't get the John Connor San Diego Comic Con exclusive with the bike. Now, that was a really nice figure, but yeah, I just wasn't able to get hold of that. And I would definitely have to get the ultimate. 
to them and I think there's a couple more out as well. We've got the police officer from the Terminator 2. So, can't wait. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me for my first video. Uh, and hopefully I get to do more in the future and I'll get a bit better at this. So cheers and I hope you enjoyed.